As are we. Three innings in the books. Still no score on the show. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. He's set. Here it comes. Rip down the first baseline, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next up, Giancarlo Stanton. He singled in his first A.B. And now pitch on the way. And he fouls this one off. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Anderson brings it in. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. Bases are empty here with two away. And into bat next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. First pitch coming. Here it is. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. There's the 2 1 home. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, 3 and 2. 3 2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Now the payoff pitch home. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. So next to hit is Reese Hoskins. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch on its way. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Fouled off. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Two out with the man at first. Hit hard down the line. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. No left field. First delivery to him. Pops this one up. Baez has room in foul territory. He's got it one away. So one out and nobody aboard. And that'll bring in Eugenio Suarez. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. 
Below the zone, a swing and a miss. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. The 2-1 home. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Fouled away. Another full count pitch home. Sharp ground ball toward the hole. Scooped up. And there's out number two. Now with the plate, Brandon Lau. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch. And a foul tip held on to here at strike one. Now here's a swing and a little bouncer out to the left of the mound. Over to first, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Reds. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and next will be the speedy catcher, JT Realmuto. JT And the pitch down the third baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here it comes. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Stepping in now, Zach Wheeler as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. One for one with a single so far. Again, another foul ball. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. So back to back strikeouts for him here to start the inning. And as you can see there on the team leaderboard, he's currently tops on the ball club in that department as we approach the final month of the season. Digging in next, Willie Castro trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. First pitch of the AB on its way as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Now here's a swing and this is hit well down the line in right. This ball has a chance and it is gone. A home run. A solo shot down the line in right. Number 14 on the season. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing.
there's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. To the plate now, Joaquin Dias, as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Swing and a liner, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Just a touch outside, one and two. Splitter, two and two. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. I win, I win. Again and again, again and again. Now they telling their friends. I don't know who my friends, they like to pretend. Now I'm switching up my energy. My Leading off for the red. The first baseman, Colin Moran. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. And it's 1 and 1. And he'll come back with 1 in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. The 2 1. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And that's out number one. So here is Leonardo Rivas. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A-B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Behind 0-2 now. One out, nobody on. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now At the plate now is Donnie Bell struck out in his last trip to the plate. First pitch on its way. Off speed pitch just missed inside. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Ball two now. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. Three and oh now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. And a curious looking swing that time as he likely had ball four there, but instead it's three and one. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. 
So only the, the second pitcher, hit he's given three. up tonight. Well, that's only the Tyler. second hit he's given up tonight, Smelly. and the first one didn't do any damage. So he's not sweating this one at all. They haven't been able to string anything together. So now to the plate, Tyler Molly. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Bell is off of first with two away. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Reds lead one. They trail this one one to nothing. Stepping in is Francisco Lindor. Flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power. First pitch on the way. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Strike two taken. A fastball to clips the inside black. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. The 0-2 delivery. And it's fouled away. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. I got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Here comes the red skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Lucas Sims a six foot two inch right hander jogs in to take over on the mound. Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. First pitch curveball swung on and missed. Strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. A good movement bearing in. It's two balls and two strikes. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Yeah. 
And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Might have been just out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch, so sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Eloy Jimenez will have to get loose in a hurry now as he'll come in and run following the injury. Now the 1 0. His prior history versus this arm. He has a 3 for 12 line. Two of those hits were for home runs. Now the 2 0. Is swung on and missed strike one and now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here and it's a lefty and a right handed up and throwing. Now the two one pitch is strike two swinging. Swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2 0 to start the at bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. And that brings up Javi Baez as he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0 and 2. Two mid 90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. A pause and the 0 2. Easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. Lays off two and two now. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Eloy Jimenez will stick around as he'll take over in right field. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on, start some traffic in motion, we might have something. First delivery to him. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Nope. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. Here comes the one two.
to two balls and two strikes now. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. And that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. You know, Dero, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad streak like this guy, any way you can get on a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to the home plate. You're scuffling so bad. Lucas Giolito takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Nick Castellanos now. Strike taken to throw. He's right on the money, and Rio Muto got him. Well, he tried to turn a single into a double by stealing second on the first pitch, but they were ready for it. Good catch and throw from behind the plate, and it's like that base hit never happened. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Count is even one and one to Nicholas Castellanos. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. All even now, two and two. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Oh, look out! Hot shot to third, and there are two away. No number thirty-three. Next to dig in, Jesse Winker. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. First pitch of the AB on its way. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off speed pitch for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's quickly 0 and 2. High in the air and deep to left center field. Center fielder looking up, still ranging back. Gone! So a solo shot here to left center field, number 14 on the season, and with it, the Reds have tied the ball game at one. Well, it took long enough, but they're finally on the board. We might look back at this shot as a spark they needed to make their bats come alive. Then again, it might just be a blip on the radar. We'll see how the rest of the game unfolds. At the plate now, Eugenio Suarez. As he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he misses 2 and 1. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off again, ball three. Fast ball too low, and that's ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Next to hit is Brandon Lau. Past history with Lucas Giolito. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1.
Chris Paddock takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Come set, now the pitch. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. 2-0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. 2-1 and one after the foul ball there. From the stretch. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left number 26 for him on the season and it gives the Reds a three to one lead. Boy this guy's hot right now hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today when he gets hot he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Into the box now, Colin Moran. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Now the 1 0. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. And it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. So it's a solo shot to dead center number 13 for him on the year as the Reds have opened up a four to one lead. Well when a manager talks about hitting being contagious that is exactly what we're talking about. One guy tees off and the guy behind him starts to feel a little bit more confident a little bit more focused. The next thing you know you've got three home runs in an inning and your entire offense is off and running. Standing in now Leonardo Rivas on the screws to shortstop but caught to retire the side. So four runs in the inning but of note there.